Hello everybody, uh, welcome to the fifth series of this review. We're gonna talk about uh, Sigur's equipment suggestion, something like that. It's just a suggestion. You may know what to follow it or not. But before that, uh, as this is this the fifth series, I just want to tell, say thank you to all of you that actually watch until the first time, maybe or until right now. So let's get started. Okay, the first one will be her weapon. She is a AOE spell type radiant. So of course, if you want to make her into a DPS, put staff of hope. As you can see, staff of hope it will give additional attack and AOE attack. Uh, I mean, dim, uh, percentage damage percentage. So if you want to put her like a real DPS, staff of hope is really your good option. The next part will be if you want to see, put Sigur as a support. Radiance, so just put Amano Murakumo since Amano Murakumo will give additional attack uh, attack percentage for each of your opponent's radiance up to 5 times. Means that, right? And the last one would be Curse Sword. Uh, not the last one, actually, but yeah, Curse Sword. Since Curse Sword will reduce your opponent's rage bar, so it's really sufficient, I mean, efficiently. Uh, useful on uh, 10 science. But uh, I suggest to use a curse sword with up to 50 level. Yeah, and this is the economic set. Uh, why I call it economic set because it's actually optional if you don't have the third, the, uh, the all the gear that I've mentioned and so far. So you just need to put uh, economic set. So the first one will be Lens of Loneliness. Lens of Loneliness will give additional damage to uh, any radiance that actually only has some, if I'm not mistaken, about 30 or 50 percent HP left on. So if the, the, your damage will be dealt to any radius that have less than 50 percent, uh, the damage will be give additional damage bonus. So since her passive is really good at dealing damage, uh, mostly, so this kind of equipment will absolutely help her. So both Lens of Longinus and Holy Banner actually kind of have the same effect. So yeah, that's why I put her on economic side. And the next one will be Staff of Ceres. Uh, Staff of Ceres will give an, a huge uh, additional AOE damage to when you're attacking. So if you want to make a DPS team but doesn't have Staff of Hope, put Staff of Ceres will be a good option. And next part uh, is uh, some underrated weapon called Kukulkan. Kukulkan will give an, an I mean, a pure an attack percentage damage. I mean, attack percentage bonus to your radiance. So basically, that Kukulkan is like a spirit sword of attacker type, something like that. Next will be armor suggestion. So, on here in this section, it's practically only four set that I can offer to you as a suggestion. So, as a main set and an economic set, the main set would be Lava Suit or a Flora Cloak. If you want to build her as an, uh, for example, a all rounder type of radiance, so put Lava Suit. But if you probably think that she will take more damage on single targets, so you can put Flora Cloak. And the economic set would be, of course, Noon's Hope and All Weather Suit. I cannot think of any other equipment. For armor that really suitable except for these two gears so nuns hope rope no nuns i don't know how to pronounce it nuns oh yeah something like that nuns drop will give hp percent uh, max hp to your radius and l with suit will give an additional uh assist all resistance to your radian and uh, the next part would be pants set suggestion so I classified it into three parts. So if you want to use uh, all purposes or general set, you uh, only one that I can give a suggestion, which means cream some long boots. Cream some long boots will give an additional attack reduction, and if I'm not mistaken, about her HP max HP too. So of course, uh, for a spell or certain type, cream some long boots is kind of uh, must have equipment to be equipped. And the next part would be ten science set. You may question why I recommend magic cushion and boots of praise to her. Okay, magic cushion basically will boost your speed to your radius with equipment with it. So if you want to make Seeger move on the uh, on, I mean, if you want to make Seeger into a radius that will move first on ten science, of course you need speed to do to do that. So if you want to at least make some strategy that that needs. Sigur to be moved on the first one, so you can put magic question. The next part will be boost of praise. 
Well, why you need this kind of boots? Uh, these boots will give an additional uh, HP. I mean, give you a chance to get at least some HP when doing an action. I mean, like attacking something like that. So uh, it will be synchronized with the next gear that I will tell you on an accessory part later. So just think about this is kind of a supportive gear for your accessories. Next will be warp long boots. For economic set so just like increasing her de uh, defense better than nothing i mean so this is economic extra so continue okay and this is the last part accessories set suggestion so if you want to pour her on all purposes uh sardines you just need to at least equip one of these equipment very shawl for uh, its eye eyeglasses and severe hairy pin so basically, uh, for your eyeglasses and silver hairpin will give you some percent uh, up percentage for your aura special skill to be activated. So yeah, this is basically like a, all purposes. And why I put fairy shell? Fairy fairy shell basically a good uh, additional accessories for any IOE type of uh, radius, since we uh, that equipment will give an additional uh, not only attack percent but also crit rate. It, for its radiance that actually getting killed something like that but uh, I need to put some note that her passive is not an attack type so if you at least kill a lot of enemies using her passive the fairy shell will not activate to her remember that passive secret passive is not an attack type but an, a condition uh, activation condition so fairy shell that need new to attack first will not be count on her passive the next one would be the best equipment for her in my opinion which means swaying wine glass why i said this she is actually pretty good using swaying wine glass uh, actually yeah i mean this is useful for 10 times too i mean why because you're really her, her weakness right i mean uh she is really weak against reflect type kind of build so only sewing wine glass is actually an accessory that really work with her passive since this wine actually work with a condition will give you an additional uh, attack percentage and also life seal percentage in battle since her the equipment itself is telling you that it will be active on a when we, when Seeger actually joined in battle, uh, we just read her passive condition. The first word will be when Seeger joins the battle. So if you put her, the swine is actually activated because in battle is the condition where when you put radiance to the field, it's called in battle. So the passive and the wine will be synchronize each other so if you put her with using this equipment of course you will get an additional hp boost when using it and while attacking on reflect type of build uh, so your damage uh, uh, i mean your income damage for that reflected will be reducted or reducted by the wine effect and talking about the previous equipment the device part i mean the uh, the hype with the boots part uh pen i mean pen part, pen part. Uh, since the lifesteal will be much more uh suggestive if you put some equipment that actually help her when doing an action and get additional uh recovery so that equipment will support wine something like that and the next part would be conditional set basically this is a set if you want to use her to kill a specific type of radiance since her weakness is will be light or guardian type so you need to put bloody belt to kill some additional uh, i mean damage on your her unit yeah on your her unit not her passive to any like and healing type or more for belt if you want to use her unit to kill some guardian type something like that and uh, an economic all purpose it will be blessing of sense which actually an sr version of uh, for this eyeglasses and party maps to give an additional pure attack percent to her to your radiant i mean to to seeker so yes and the 10 cent set will be if you don't have wine yet you can use our left waterfall which give you only some additional of life steal in battle so basically it's still the same as wine but the sr part but this gear will not give you an additional attack percent which is fairly sad 
well that's all of the 10 minutes we discuss and have a nice day so the next video will be 10 signs goodbye